Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Super Toho Remix here, coming at you with something a little bit different, just to bring something for the week. This is Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, and if I recall, this game is now nearly 20 years old. It is a favorite from my childhood. I own the PS2 version, played on that a lot, despite the fact that I had no idea what I was doing at the time. And considering Jurassic World Evolution is coming out next week, I figured to give this one little pop before that happens, so... I'm going to make a head start. Hello, my name is John Hammond, and I am in charge of InGen, the company that you now work for. Your job is quite simple, really. Build a pack, create dinosaurs, and entertain people. Of course, we'll be keeping an eye on you as well. We'll watch your pack rating and give you feedback on your performance. But in the end, the success or failure of Jurassic Park, it's all up to you. So that's a slight overview of the game from the character John Hammond himself, obviously not voiced by the late Richard Attenborough. Let's rest in peace. But um, it's an old park simulation slash manager game that is tied to the Jurassic Park franchise. It was released... I in 2003, so that would have been after two, uh, that would have been after Jurassic Park 3, um, which this game heavily um, tried to tie itself into with the inclusion of Spinosaurus. Now, this is one of those games where it didn't exactly have a great reception at the time, and it didn't really get off the ground. But in the last, in the last nearly two years since it came out, it's had a fantastic mod modding community. Excuse me. Um, and that's how this game has been able to survive after all this time. There have been so many fan-made expansions for this game, it is unbelievable. The work that has been put into some of those mods, including uh, some of the recent additions by the Toro Society, for example, where he, where he put Zilla and something else coming up in the game soon. It's stuff like, like that that really makes you appreciate the passion the JPOG modding community have for being able to keep this game alive after so long. So what we're going to do here is, we're going to try and abuse this random number, genera random number generator and try to create an island to build our park in. Now, before I set this up, I had to quickly go into tutorials just so I can get a grip of the controls again, because um, I'm using this on my laptop rather than using a pad or anything. So um, I'm playing the game in a sense of how it was meant to have been played. Um, okay, so, let's see here. If I can uh, reduce the mountains a little. Like, what I'm after is something more circular rather than square, because I think that might be slightly easier to work with. Let's see. Um, hmm, I don't want to spend too long on this. Okay, I f actually, I think this configuration just might work, so... Let's dive in and see what happens. Now, the beauty of this version is there should be no rendering or loading issues whatsoever. I say that and the sound effects just kick in. Okay, so first of all, let's get these messages out of the way. Build a hatchery, dig sites, and then research facilities. But first things first, I'm going to go Hi. to the map. And what we want to do is go a bit more here. Now let me see if I can get the camera. Here we go. Now if I can get a bit more down, a bit more down. Less mountains would be nice. Let's see. Hmm. If I can rotate it a bit more. No, up. Up, 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 up. I think just about here will do it. Now, what we want to do is build a uh, park entrance, which is styled in the classic design of the old visitor center from the first film. Blop! Gotta love that sound. Right, before we even think about building our first enclosure, what I usually tend to do is lay the foundations of everything else first. Now, 
you're not given a generous amount of money to work with so you do have to be a little bit conservative of what you can and can't afford now one thing the uh, one thing the AI loves to complain about in this game is space space to walk around in I, I mean by that so I like to make big expensive paths so that shouldn't be too much of an issue so let's see here Alright, so I've got the low fence, that's all we can afford for now. If I build a little bit more further out here. Do, 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 do. But as I alluded to earlier, back in the day, I absolutely adored playing this. But unfortunately, back then, I had no idea what I was doing. And, uh... And as a result, I kept on failing the main campaign and kept on getting into bankruptcy over and over again by that stupid Peter Lutlow character. Okay, mm. Damn, what dinosaurs do we have? Um, uh. Hello again. Okay, so this is what we can work with for now. Parasaurolophus, I think that's what we can start out with first. Okay. Hey, right, wrong key. There we go. Place it right over here. No, oh, don't do that. And I can specifically remember having a bitter experience my first playthrough because we were just getting everything set up. Hello again. Then a bloody twister came along and ruined everything. And the thing with the twister in this game, it's uh, like everything else, randomly generated. So, the luck of that happening, it was, uh, it was, it was not a good time, let me tell you. Mm, let's see. Yeah, that would just about do it. No, 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 no. However, from that day onward, every time I've built a new park, the first thing I research as a result of that tornado incident is a security center. In fact, that's what we're going to do right now. Hang on. Yeah, here we go. Hello. Get that in uh -huh. here, because I ain't dealing with first day tornadoes again. Okay, so that's the thing set up, and because it's a herbivore exhibit... Okay. Now, we're going to be a bit greedy here. Because we're only just starting up. No! Oh. God damn it. Yeah, name, because it's Parasaur Low first, it's gonna be a playpen because, you know. Great! I didn't want to do that, but okay. Uh. Oh, hang on. Can you look after this while I get a soda? Uh, hang on. Oh, thank God for the escape button. All right. That was a very close call. I honestly thought I was going to get stuck there for a moment. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Right, so that's that sorted. Now for the next thing. Toilets. The more popular your park gets, the more people want to queue up to, 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 to unleash their nature. Oh, yeah, there we go. The buttons are right there on the screen. Message from Dr. Grant. Hold on one moment, Dr. Grant. I'm busy building the most important thing. Two dollars. So there won't be humongous queues then. Because believe me, when people gotta go in this game, they really gotta go. Wait, why am I doing that? God damn it. Okay, so enmities. And then we're going now to build the diabetes center. Because the food selection in this game if you're not a dinosaur, is terrible. Yep. Again, we've got to try and get as much Muller as possible because the hardest part of the game at first is getting Why everything set intentions? up. Yes, Grant, I'll get to that in one moment. I just got to make sure everything else is set up first. Actually, what do we have on security side of things? Oh yeah, of course. In case rampages ever become a thing. Now what I usually tend to do with my uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis builds is I usually have my ranger stations right next to the entrance. Message from the park warden's office. I don't know why I do that, but it's just something I do. It's it's an it's an aesthetics thing. 
watch me butcher that word completely, I apologise. Now, in the game, as you can see, there's a chopper. And one thing you can do is that you have the option to ride that chopper to, say, vaccinate, sedate or retire dinosaurs. I tried that earlier using the uh, keyboard and I got a lot of practice to do because it was quite the challenge, let me tell you. It's quite a difference from playing it on a pad back on the PS2 days of yesteryear. Those were the days. Um, good luck trying to find that version of the game now though. Because of how niche physical games of this have, have, um, have become scarce. Um, this game is, 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 uh, the best way to put it is, scalpers have a field day with this game. Okay, is there everything? Uh, oh yeah. Because, because the amount of people you eventually get in this game, paths very quickly become dirty. And if I recall, cleaners are the one, uh, human NPC in this game that I don't think you get fined for if they get killed by dinosaur attacks. Uh, don't quote me on that one. Now, one last thing. We're already down to $20,000, so I need, to, I need to cut this pretty close with this exhibit. It better be baller. Baller. Uh, hopefully, Parasaur Lophus won't be too expensive. Obviously, we want the feeder right there. Blip. Hi there. I'm going paleo because obviously it's that's better for the diet and it isn't too expensive to increase that to $50 over the 20 over the regular $20 um, plant bale. Right, um now if I yeah, we can't open the park yet until Hi rebreed there. us some dinosaurs. Right. Ooh, okay. Could I Alright, yeah, that's just about cutting it close. Now, let's see. I think I got everything just about. Alright, rack up the entry fees. Because we're gonna need it. Now, this is something I never abused in the past because, again, I didn't know what to do. But now, whenever I play this game, I like to, I like to push it. I really do like to push it just because money is not the easiest thing to get at first. And it's something you're going to need the more stuff you'll need to research later. Ladies and gentlemen, especially. We are pleased to announce the debut of our newest attraction. Well, let's have a look quick. Please enjoy the playful antics of this gentle herbivore. And here's our first dinosaur, a lovely Parasaur Lophus, modeled right after the Lost World variant. If, if, if I think about it, actually, this was the, the first dinosaur I ever bred back in the day when playing this game for the first time, so. This is quite the come around actually, and I bred two more so it won't be lonely. The thing with herbivorous, the thing with large hadrosaur dinosaurs in this game is they benefit more from more mum numbers of their species, or just other hadrosaurs in general. Now Good to see you again. we can actually open this thing, and welcome to Jurassic Park. Totally. Message from Dr. Grant. Go away, Dr. Grant. Ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great pleasure to declare the newest wonder of the modern world, Jurassic Park. Now open. Until there's the running, screaming, and bloodshed, and people being Message eaten. From Dr. Grant. My God! Okay, that's actually not a bad one. I'll get that in a moment. What would you like us to do? You know, I'll quickly go to how much money do I have? Can I buy another team? How much? 5,000. You know what? Screw it. Just to make him happy. Hell Creek Formation A. What do we have here? Uh, oh, okay. We, okay, okay. Um, I cannot pronounce that one to save my life. Uh, you know, I'm not even going to bother. But I do, I do remember that that was one of the first great unlocks you can get in this game. Because again, um, thanks to the RNG, um, whenever you find a dig site in this game, you usually start out at at one of three, but it's randomly chosen. So if I can get some DNA on that first dinosaur on this list, I'll be very happy. So let's make a head start. Zoom in. Perfect. Um, now, should I should I exhaust this area with the perfect uh, slot ratio? Actually, no. What am I talking about? There's the same number here, and it's good. So 
You know what? Let's run this fossil site into the ground. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, I need I need to um actually you know what? No. I'm gonna wait until the first visitors arrive before I start hiring cleaners. Because I think if I remember the way this game builds you, it does it once a month. I if I recall. In the meantime, we can check on our dinosaurs. Alright, so here's the leader. The models may be... Message from Dr. Wu. I think that's our... I think that's our security... Um, I think that's our visitor shelter already. But yeah. Even though the dinosaur models in this game are incredibly outdated, there's still a certain charm to them, even to this very day. There's just something very nostalgic about the way they look and the amount of low, poly low polygons there are. My goodness. Alright, uh, there we go, that's the one I'm after. Alright. And here come our first visitors, so... Visitor shelter... You might want to have a look at this. Go to... Right, so... Let's see. Now, the next thing I usually do is go to the vaccines because your dinosaurs get sick very quick. Uh, and, the, and the most dangerous one is rabies. But the problem is, if you go for the rabies one too early, uh, some of the fun of rampaging dinosaurs late in the game kind of gets sucked out a little bit. So I think because we're starting out with... Um, let's see... Because we're starting out with um, herbivores, I'm gonna go gastric poisoning Good for choice. now. All right, but message from Doctor Grant. Doctor Grant, Jesus Christ! Call your jets. Oh, I can just about build this. Ooh. All right, you guys, start giving me money. Oh, there's one guest. So. uh... Now, what does he want? What should we do about this? Okay. Okay, um... In a genetics lab, obviously this is where the fossils come in, and you get three grades. You get low quality, medium quality, and high quality. Um... There's also the option to sell fossils. So because of this is low quality, I think I'm going to sell it. Yeah. If it's medium or higher, then it's worth extracting. Um... The same can be said for amber as well, which, which you can buy alongside fossils in the fossil marketplace. But obviously, because of the quality, um, the amber and fossils are going to become far more expensive as a result. Okay, uh, hey, you know what? Because of the size of my park at the moment, I'm going to hire... Good. Free. Yeah, free, free should just about cut it for now. Alright, uh, security fit is in place. Welcome back. And uh, let's check the weather. Okay, so, uh, all looking good on the weather front. Oops. It's good to know you're keeping an eye on things. There we go. Something I will mention, uh, even to this day, Jurassic Heart Cobbery Genetics is one of those games where if you just want to kill time and just sit back and relax and just watch stuff ha just happen and, and just re you can be relaxed and so on and so forth this is one of those ideal time killing games one of those ultimate time wasters but what helps is Dr. Grant. here comes our favorite stalker again but what really helps is the orchestra soundtrack um what you may or may not know is the developers of this game were actually had message from Peter Ludlow. Oh boy. Um, the developers of this game actually had very close relationships with the uh, Mel Braun Symphonic Orchestra, I think, and they were able to strike a deal to actually give this game a fully symphonic orchestra soundtrack. So that's Why really awesome. Alright, Parasaur Lothus. Yep, we're going to extract that. No problem. Get that 100% Gmon. And now, what does Mr. Cut Gem Killjoy want? Okay, what is this going to look like? Peter Lutlow. Would it be possible to meet with you at some point? Okay. Now, if you were ever in a financial um, 
tight spot and if you ever go into depth for, for some random reason if it happens to you a couple of times that is the voice you hear that will signal the end of the game happened to me quite a few times in my first few playthroughs but once once I figured out what to do then it became less frequent unless dinosaur rampages became a thing in which the more people died from dinosaur rampages the higher the fines would go up and for a lot of people the dinosaur rampages are arguably the best part of this game in, in which they are they are fun once you get to a high enough status it is just fun busting open busting open your enclosures of the big carnivorous dinosaurs and just let them run loose and slaughter your entire populace message from dr Wu. Uh, okay this better be good actually no i think it's the uh parasol drag yourself away from the park we'd like to speak with sweet you. we are less than no we are just over 10 percent away from getting 100 percent genome that is fantastic So as you could probably gather, the main aim... Message from Dr. Grant. Shut up, Dr. Grant! The main aim of this game is to build a park and then try and maintain it long enough so it reaches a five-star ranking. What should we do about this? Okay, let's see, are they good? Another high, um, Parasolophus, um, fossil. Yeah, let's do it. Yes. Get that 100% genome. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So... In order to get five stars, you've got to get maximum visitor satisfaction. Your dinosaurs have got to be well checked. Um, and basically, everything just has to be in tip top order. But because this is Jurassic Park we're dealing with, it's not always going to be plain sailing. Because that whole series thrives off mistakes. Oh boy. And thanks to um, the events in the first film, everything just kind of just set into notion. Didn't say the magic word indeed. If I recall, the uh, the E3 build of this game had a lot of content in it that ended up being cut out, which I think is all due, to, which is all down to limitations at the time, I believe. I'm not so sure if it's possible if you Message can access if you can access that content now. But I imagine. Yay! The Parasol Office genome is at 100%. So, so when the current trio um, die in over a year's time, I can produce, I can, I can produce replacements that will live much longer. In fact, let me have a look. See, you, see, you go from one year to five years. That is fantastic. Hell Creek Foundation Site A, I think, is probably the best uh, for dig site to start with because you get a, quite a bunch of large dinosaurs, and um, which I'm not Message saying, from Dr. Grant. which I'm not saying any other starter dig sites are bad. It's just uh, I think you get a lot more bang for your buck. Ah, Amber. Well, would you like us? Let's have a look. You mm, with Amber in this game, it's it's luck of the draw. It depends what you get. I'm at 7,000 at the moment, and the partial loafers I think are going to do pretty okay for a while, unless they get sickness. So, you know what? Let's do Great. it. Let's see what we get. I, Cause I believe if you, yeah, if you max out a dinosaur genome and if you get amber results or fossils of that same dinosaur, they actually get sold off. So that helps a great deal. Let's see. Let's check on the guests, see what they have to say for themselves. You're walking to a bloody restaurant as you say that. My goodness. Seriously. I mean, in fact, if you're that, if you're that hungry, you have to do just go a bit more further, further that way and practice cannibalism on this fat guy. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Then again, he's just popped in, so I can't really dig him out too much. Yeah, some, to see you again. some of the guest complaints in this game can get a little bit ridiculous at times, but it's just one of those things that you just have to learn to ignore. Because unless if they're being eaten, then because of the AI limitations in this game, it doesn't really amount to anything. So the Ember caused the Taurosaurus genome to go up to 83%. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so that actually was a worthy gamble. 
We're at $6,785, so we're actually not working out too bad. In fact, I could use a little bit of that to... Message from Dr. Brand. Increase paths a bit. It. Plop. 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 Now, because of the nature of this game, um, obviously, it's going to appeal to a very niche crowd. Because this is a type of game that's not going to be for everybody. It's one of those things where you're either the kind of person that gets enjoyment out of watching it, or you get enjoyment out of watching it and taking part in it by building up your own park. So there's quite a tight margin of the type of people that would be into this game. So um, I'm going to try and conjure up as much drabble as I, can, as I possibly can to keep some of you watching this semi-entertained if this is not your thing. And speaking of which, although it's not entirely useless drabble in this sense, this is what I was referring to earlier. Because Parasol Opus is 100% DNA and genome, I got I got three thousand plus dollars as a result from those remains. So happy days. This is actually turning out a lot better than I thought. And for that reason, we are going to save because this is one of those situations where um, if 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 you're on a if you're on a high streak and if you're making really good progress with your park, but you don't save for a while. And if you get hit by a twister, and depending on how much money you have, you you potentially have to start over. So this is one of those games, especially in the beginning, you have to save your progress as much as possible. Okay, so uh, all right, let's have a look. At, let's check on our parcel offices real quick. Again, the the the, uh, the graphics of this game. They just, the memories just flood back. And despite being um, low resolution models, they actually animate pretty damn well, I must say. Although a lot of dinosaurs have the same exact animations because obviously limitations and whatnot. But for what it is, and considering, and considering there's something like 20 odd dinosaur species in this game, it does the job message from the park administrator okay this is either going to be complaining Urgent message from dr Wu. this is either going to be complaining guests oh my god the message counter where do you kill it that uh, you either get a lot of useless complaints like this or uh other bits and pieces but uh jane i understand why she was added to the game but in the grand scheme of things she doesn't really seem to do much other than just this, basically. You might want to have a look at this. Dr. Harry Wu. I think this was meant to be Henry Wu, but, uh... Can you spare a minute to look at this? I think... If we if we had a uh, Henry Wu in this game, there would be quite a few problems, I imagine. Hmm. Actually, you know what, now? Nah. For, okay. for a thousand dollars, that's not a bad deal. And what does Grant want? Ah, uh, yes! Afrocanthosaurus, that's how you pronounce it. There we go. We got some Afrocanthosaurus remains. What should we do here? Great, it's high. So, um, if you achieve 50% DNA of any dinosaurs from this game, Great. you can breed them. Lower than that, you have to keep grinding for fossils. And then. Mm, just, I'm just trying to think as my uh, WhatsApp goes off. Um, 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 it was this game as it's one of the reasons I'm so excited for Jurassic World Evolution. Because from what I've seen so far in regards to Jurassic World Evolution, it basically seems to be... Um, in basics, it seems to be the same as this game. But just done, just expanded so much more. Like you get to delve into the DNA structuring a bit more. Um, there's a lot more to do on the, on the managing side. And from what I've seen, pe Message from Dr. Wu. pestering messages such as these are not an existing thing anymore. And yes, we're well, going to sell those opals. Hang on, before I do that. Yep, yeah, give me. Gear gets get some of that money. 
and it's a heat wave. Uh, these are not usually too bad, but it just means you could just get a few more complaints from uh, your customers. So what I want is something I haven't researched yet. Damn it. Actually, that's a good point. What's the Welcome weather back. forecast? Okay, so rain's not too far off, so hopefully this heat wave won't last too long. Message from Dr. Grant. My god, it, if you have if you have anything but the equivalent of a stalker in this game, it's Dr. Grant. It's between him and Dr. Sattler that pests you the most. Dr. Grant in regards to fossil related some subjects, and Dr. Sattler in, in relation to your dinosaurs. If anything happens to your dinosaurs in this game, she will let you know about it. What should we do here? And I mean know about it. You know what? I'm coming to 20,000. Let's see what we can get just about get away with. Jeffrey, not that. Uh, maybe? Hmm. If anything happens, I'm going to suck it up. Yes. Bye. Uh -huh. Risk and reward. No, I don't want to go to build. I can't rebuild. No. This is Things what I'm good. after. Are they? Good I'm glad choice. to hear that. They better be good. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble. I'm at four thousand dollars, which shouldn't, which doesn't seem to be bad, but that can deplete very quickly. As I learned on one of my recent playthroughs, because I was just able to hang on by the skin of my teeth. By minus $89. From Dr. Grant. I'm surprised I didn't get my butt whipped by freaking Peter. Okay, I take back what I said because of the parasol office remains. We're now at 8,000. Thank you. Okay. The one thing I am kind of sad about when it comes to Jurassic World Evolution is, as far as I can tell, you're kind of restricted to a certain area of the island you're on rather than have the entire island like in uh, Operation Genesis here. But I can understand why. Because in Evolution, they're obviously going for much higher graphic output, therefore being able to build your park over an entire range of an island would be... It would take a longer development time. I know that much. So... Take what we can get. 34%. Not too far off now before we can have our first big teeth machine. The first of many dentist nightmares in this game. But yeah, um... If you're one of the few that's interested in getting this... In actually purchasing this game now... I say good luck to you, because um, even used copies are, are quite um, sought after now. The last time I checked on eBay, um, I think a used PC version, I think a used PC copy of this game ranges from the equivalent of £30 to £100, depending on your mileage. And obviously, for you guys in America, you're going to have to make that conversion, but yeah. Um, very short after... Um, uh, cult game. So the unfortunately the version I'm using, um, I had to don an eye patch for. But hey. Urgent message from Doctor Wu. Okay, Wu, this better be good. Okay, it is good. How should we proceed with this? Okay, go to message from Doctor Grant. And of course, Grant's never far behind. He always pests you about something. Let's see. Green dinosaurs. Hmm. Uh, you know, let's get another vaccine done. Hmm. Yes. Dinosaur flu was another very common one. Can we remember the very first time I spread a Spinosaurus in this game? What should we do about this? It had to get freaking dino flu off the, off the gate, which was annoying to deal with because of it yes. being flu. Everything else freaking caught it. And then you have to go for that tedious process of get, getting your dinosaurs vaccinated one unit at a time. Which again, I can understand considering the, limit, the limitations of, of this game. It still wasn't the most convenient experience, let me tell you. Camera, go. Can I zoom in? There we go. Like, yeah, 
everything's put on high in this game. The graphical settings, the, the gamma and everything. Well, no, 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 Message I take that back. From Peter Ludlow. No, I take that back. Um, like, the modeling textures are on high. At some point? All right, what is this going to tell us? Is it going to be good or bad? If you could drag yourself away from the park, we'd like to speak with you. If you can drag yourself off your ass and stop being such an a-hole, that would also be appreciated. Thank you. Would it be possible to meet with you at some point? Message from Dr. Wu. Okay, so we're almost near completion of the Taurosaurus genome. Fantastic. All right, and while it's raining, let us... Save it here. Let's observe a dinosaur just a little bit. Message from Dr. Grant. And I can't quite do that because freaking go the ground is pestering me again. Well, About something good do. at least. Yes, we're gonna sell that silver. Oh, hang on. Now, I know this ain't. A, I know this ain't exact. I know this ain't. Ugh, my God, excuse me. English can't English at the moment. Now I know, graphically, this is not the greatest game. But that's actually not a bad sight at all. Well, minus the trees in that game, in the way. I do like how the weathering can affect the draw distance sometimes. Oh great! What's he got? Let's let's have a look. Well, until actually, hang on. Great to see you again. It's three stars. Come on, not that. It's that's two below five stars. You know, it's it, it's complaints like that that makes me think some of these guys deserve to be eaten or for fodder for dinosaur rampages or whatever sick, twisted um, contraptions you're allowed to come up with in this game. Because it's one of those things where once you get to a five-star rating, nothing can stop you. You can just go complete ham and just and, and just watch the slaughter ensue. But we, I'm not exactly aiming to do that in the moment. i rather have more power for that to happen. But because these guys are complaining so bloody much... I wonder, can I... I can at least make a start on an, on an, on an enclosure, I suppose. Message from Dr. Graham. Uh, actually, no, I'll wait until the Afrocanthosaurus genome is up. What should we do here? Sell it. Not worth it. Actually, that's a point. Actually, that is a point. Now, thankfully, while you're in here, in this menu, you don't get bothered too much. Zoom in. Yeah, this is kind of what I was alluding to earlier. Um, over time, your dig sites are exhausted, and therefore progress becomes... just comes to complete standstill. However... I do have one advantage, and that's this dig site. So I'm going to snap up these teams and place them here and then run this dig site into the ground. Sounds like a fair deal. And then I can hopefully... You know, Welcome. Welcome. I don't know. Because what I kind of want to do is get another um, enclosure up and running so I can get some of the visitors to stop complaining about the lack of dinosaur variety. But... Uh, Message from the park administrator. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, I know, I know. I, I saw... I saw the emoji cons the, uh, um, ahead of time. You know, it's funny. Um, this game came out in 2003. And, uh... A lot of, a lot of the emoji cons in this game... I don't know, there's just there's something quite amusing about them. Because you have the... Yeah, the really happy visitors, and then you have the red emoji cons that make it look like the visitors are in complete distress, more than they should be. Like just just the ranking below that one, for instance. Right, what am I doing? Uh, make sixteen thousand. 
I need more genomes to create the Afrocanthosaurus. I need my Afrocanthosaurus. My ah. This is where you, this is kind of what you get for being an autistic British spastic. The Afrocanthosaurus genome needs to be at 50% before it's even worth anything. But anyway. Ah, wrong way. Now I do like the uh, knockoff vending machines there, which is a, which is kind of a p complete parallel to Jurassic World, which has product placement up the wazoo. I am looking at you, Samsung. Message from Doctor Graham. Okay, this better be good. Taurosaurus remains. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Uh huh. Like how big? Why? Hmm. I had a split idea that maybe make this enclosure a bit bigger and fit a few Taurosaurus in there. Maybe. Like hatcheries are about five thousand, aren't they? Six thousand. Not far off the mark. Should I? Depending how. Let's see how much. Fen let's see how much uh, fencing is. Yeah, I'll probably hold off a little, hold off a little bit until I get a bit more Muller. Hmm. That'll be quite nice. Hang on, on the window. Now, if, yeah, the message from Doctor Wu. Once you get a single star in this game, you can unlock a new dig site. Yay! More money. Uh, should I? Like, how much? How much a Taurosaurus? Urgent message from Doctor Wu. Okay. That's Dino food. Can you spare a minute to look at this. Uh, okay. In case we're gonna have a heat wave again. Should I? Should I breed some Taurosaurus and even up a little bit? Like, how much are they? How can I help? Message from the park administrator. Oh. You know, let's see what uh, Jane Powers has to say. I can't quite dig out the guest too much by that because there's only Parasol Office. Uh, should I risk it? Message from Doctor Graham. But at the same time, I kind of want to save space for. Uh, I kind of want to save space for Ang for Camper. You know what? Hey. No, not the wrong one. Good choice. Like Tor like Taurosaurus and Parasaurus remains are gonna be sold off anyway, so I, I can at least Great. Come on, I need I need an Afrocanthosaurus at fifty percent. Come on! Come on, you can do it! I know there's no calcium in those bones, but milk those bones! Milk them dry! Again, I don't care if there's no calcium. Milk them dry. Give the African for source a bone. Now, if I recall, yeah, ten thousand. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. By the way, um, it, um, the content status, the content status never reverses. Once a dig site, is, once a dig site is exhausted, it will always be exhausted from that point onwards. So, uh. It's I'd like your thoughts on this. Ah, uh, ten percent! Only ten percent away. I want to finish. I want to finish this video with at least one Amphrocanthosaurus. Message from Doctor Grant. 
Of course they haven't found, you know what? You know what? Get him in there. I know I got half team capacity working on that site, but uh, I need people to stop whinging. Like, what way? Like, helm. Right, how much? A okay, 3,000. It's not bad. Actually. There, now hopefully, when I get my Amber Canvas source enclosure up and running. I'm gonna go scenic because the way this is gonna work, you're gonna have the uh, you're gonna have the partial office enclosure over here, or the upper canvas enclosure is gonna be down here. That's the idea. Right. Surely I can't be all whinging, can they? Yay! We got Message one guy. Thank you, N Nigel from California. Smashing. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, you can get umbrellas in this game. At least Alan's freaking positive. You just walk, I, I assume you just walked out of the viewing pen. Then again, then again, you are a thrill seeker, so, um... What should we do here? Okay, come on. Yeah, ooh. That could just about do it. Uh... Mmm. Uh, Welcome back. Ah, uh, screw it. Certainly. I need to please my thrill seekers. Message from Dr. Grant. All right. Oh, yay. Hey, 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 hey. Things are good. Double bill. This Great. should definitely do it. Yay! I think we're finally gonna get Amphora Canvasaurus, but I just noticed we have a problem. We're at four thousand. From Doctor Wu. We're at four thousand. So uh, that's a bit more replenishment time, I think. And hang on. What should we do Can I? here? You know what? No problem. Five hundred. Get those umbrellas going. Get those umbrellas going. Oh man. You know, despite going well so far, I have to admit, I, I remember getting stars a lot faster, but I think part of the reason for that being is, um, I usually would have a carnival by this point, but you know what it is, what it is. It comes with the territory. Message from Dr. Wu. Okay. I thought you might like some input here. Okay, yay, we can breed the Amphrocanthosaurus, but I need I need some more cash flow before I can even think about making its enclosure. And the problem is, you know, as much as I'd love to, if I unleash an Amphrocanthosaurus now, all it will do it will cause stress for the Parasaurolophus, which again, if I was making a site B or something, that wouldn't be too much problem because then they'll have plenty of space. Hmm. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the modern community have made such fantastic additions to the longevity of this game. People have even Message made from Dr. Graham. fully fledged um, Jurassic World mods, where they even done up the uh, entrance to Graham. become a visitor center. They've had a new dinosaur species. Yeah. You know what? I will, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll get the uh, hatchery ready. I'll, I'll, I'll at least get the hatchery ready. Yeah, I'll get the hatchery ready. Hmm. 
because and because I'm a cheap, 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 um, bugger. Damn. Not flexible enough. Mm. Ooh, there we go. A message from Peter Ludlow. Oh boy. Ooh god. Hang on, if I can just rotate the camera a bit. How much further can I? You know what? I think I'm going to leave it there because I'm at $900. If you could drag yourself away from the park, we'd like to speak with you. Jeez, yeah, I know that. That's something you didn't need to let me know about. Message from Dr. Grant. Okay. What should we do about this? Okay, I can sell these. All right, so okay, okay, three thousand. Not great, but a lot better than nine hundred. But I promise, people, I will be getting a carnival soon. It's coming up to nearly an hour of recording time. If I can at least get an Amphrocanthosaurus up to the one-hour mark, I'll be happy. I just got to build a bit more fence, get some water in here. Goat feeder. Message from John and we got half a star. Yee. Thank you, old man. Good. The fr the uh, the fame should be spreading. Me me me. Right. Uh. Yeah, walking towards a tower. Uh, are you going towards a tower? Or are you going towards the? Uh, are you going towards the? Uh... You walked completely past the viewing deck. No wonder you didn't see any dinosaurs. Are you freaking blind. Good to see you again. Hmm. I. Ladies and gentlemen, don't get left out in the rain. Official Jurassic Park Gale Force umbrellas are now available at the park entrance. You know what? I'll research something later because I've I've made decent uh, recovery. So I'm what I'm going to do is finish the rest of this enclosure. Get actually, how far can I uh, actually? No. Uh, Message from Doctor Grant. Yeah, keep it like this because I want to get a. Uh, I want to get a. Uh, I want to get a, I want to get a deck in there so and get your mind out of the, out of the bloody drain that's not what I meant and you know it or is it <laughs> okay and we're going to steal Yugi Moto's deck we're going to steal John Hammond's deck Okay, we're at okay five thousand. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna pump this up to twenty because it's a carnivore. Free window. Oh, hang on. How much are they? To... Yeah, obviously I want to know how much it costs to produce a fence. Great to see you again. All right, so and here we have it. Oh boy, it doesn't even live that long, and it costs four thousand. Hmm. Like, what I would love to do is produce two, but, um... Alright, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm gonna risk it. Great. Produce one. Produce one. Now, I don't... I don't think I can actually make a, um, feeder, can I? Damn it, I'm just under 300. Oh, no, what have I done? What the hell have I done? Oh, no. Oh, no. But the least I can do is give it some water. 
It's just going to be a very hungry girl when she um, gets her uh, feeder. I'm sorry, lady. I didn't mean to do this to you, but uh, I want these people to stop complaining about the lack of dinosaurs. Oh boy, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, I hear that chopper. We are pleased to announce our newest arrival to Jurassic Park. The terrifying there we go. All right. Get that feeder in there. They better not be. All right. Phew. Let's it's good to see get you. a goat. Let's get a goat and see what okay. happens. Let the magic begin. We finally have our first carnivore, ladies and gentlemen. Message from Dr. Wu. There she is, wandering over there. I will do that in a moment, Wu. Aye. The goat's over this way. Actually, um, what I want to do... Because what I usually tend to do, as you may have noticed with the Parasaurolophus in the enclosure, is I like to build the hatcheries right next to the fence, so at least this way, people looking in won't have won't have obstructed viewing. Are you freaking kidding me? No! Right, where is this bloody thing? Oh god, no! <laughs> no! The prophecy's become true! There's a twist! Ah! Where is it? 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 No! Where is it going? Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Dorothy's that way! She's that way! No! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Jesus Christ! Uh, oh no, this is not Hello. what I wanted to happen. Uh, I mean, I guess the visitors are safe, but my God, no! Welcome back. Oh my God, it's coming! Uh, and that's a good point. They're, they're coming back in evolution. Oh God, it had to go for that enclosure. No! I just got to this point, you bugger! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shut up! Oh yeah, I forgot, I can't do it! Oh, come on. Message from the park administrator. Fuck! Uh-oh. Oh my god, build fence, build some fence, build some fence, build some fence. Oh god! No! Oh! Well, I guess you got to witness everything in this episode, folks. Now, stay that way. Oh, God. All right, what's the damage? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, this ravaged everything. Good to see you. Yes, I want to repair it. But the twist is still bloody about. Where is it? 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 I can hear it. I can hear it. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Okay, it's going off the island. Ooh. All right, what we got? Hey, 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 hey! Camera, stop freaking out. Grant, I don't care right now. Got into this. Fifteen hundred dollars. Oh, oh boy. Yes. Well, um. Oh yeah. Now they um. Oh my God! It went that far out. What would you recommend? Yes, repair it. Well, that's a good point, actually. That sure. goat probably died in the in the twister. Rest in peace. Go. Message from Dr. Grant. You died for a worthy cause. Right, is that everything? No, it ain't. Good to see you again. The 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 viewing vent is on fire. Oh, ho, 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 ho. well, um, I I didn't rule out the possibility of a twister. 
I didn't think we'd get one right coming up, cutting it close to the end of this episode. Is that everything? Uh, hold on. Okay, I think, I believe that's everything. That, it worked great, but it could have been so much worse. And now with some relaxation therapy, we're going to observe our Afrocanthosaurus, which had delayed sedation. All right. As we said, Afrocanthosaurus definitely has one of the better looking models in the game. I like how the, the small dorsal sail on her back has been done. See, so yeah, considering what they were given, you know, for its first time, the dinosaur models in this game looks pretty good. Alright, uh Message from Dr. Wu. Okay. Alright, so okay, yeah. Now if I didn't decide to research the visitor shelter first thing, that could have gotten a whole lot worse. What would you recommend in this situation? Let's see, security. Oh, I'm just under two thousand dollars. And on that note, we are going to end it here. All right. Well, um, sorry if I blabbled on uselessly there. I um, I hope my commentary wasn't too drab considering the nature of this game. But I hope you got some enjoyment out of it. Regardless, I thought I got some pretty uh, decent material, especially up to the end there when we when we bred our first Anthracanthosaurus and caught our first bloody twister. Um, now I don't exactly plan to continue this series unless there is some kind of demand for it, because this is more for a, um, it's more for gauging to see if people would be interested in me doing something similar with um, Jurassic World Evolution, which I honestly think would be the much better optimized game, um, depending on how my NVIDIA runs runs it, which I think will be absolutely fine, to be honest. It should, it, 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 it should completely cheese it. Um, but it's just shadow play, because I might have mentioned before, yeah, I have, in one of my previous updates, I tried... Uh, getting some footage of fighters down but for some reason my shadow play wouldn't like my nvidia geoforce that's what it is my nvidia geoforce didn't quite scan it for some reason so um i'm hoping that won't be the case for evolution speaking of evolution i pre-ordered the deluxe edition so i should be getting some of those extra dinos early yay and the more i see this game which it comes out a week from today the more patient I'm getting. It's, I know it's only a week left, but it's just so... Excuse me. It's just so close now. It's just the idea. For me, I'm happy because it's just the idea of playing a modified version of what you've just seen. In which, you know, for a game of its time, Jurassic World Operation Genesis, despite... Despite being a much older game with some severe limitations and with, re, with replayability... Um, uh, with replayability um, having having a uh, very um, oh my god what, what am I trying to say here excuse me with a game like Operation Genesis where it it doesn't exactly have the most about the mo the most amount of replayability it doesn't have um, well that honestly depends on your mileage I mean some some of you still might enjoy coming back to this game over and over again, but that's not exactly going to be everybody, because this is one of those games where um, you have to... De you have to, you can, or you can dedicate... You can dedicate as, as much time as you want into this, but there will be periods where, um, for the onlooker, there's not going to be a lot going on at all, versus you actually playing it and having to keep an eye on everything. But um, at least with Evolution, I, I, I like to think they kind of fixed that a little bit with some of the... Uh, with some of the divisions you have to do missions for. So well, let's see how that rolls out. Well, for those who managed to stick the whole way through and actually got some got some form of entertainment out of this, I highly appreciate it. And again, if you do want to see more of this in the near future at some point, although that probably won't be a long while, because again, evolution is going to completely overshadow this, please do let me know. And, um, and if there is anything you may have noticed or anything you think I might need to look into in regards to tinkering how it looks, then that's something I'll 
probably look into if the demand is there for it. So um, thanks again for tuning in, and I hope to catch you for the first installment of Jurassic World Evolution, which will be next week, which I will definitely dedicate some time into, because it's like the game I haven't been waiting for forever, but it's the game I have been waiting for forever. You, you get what I mean? It, it's, it's like the, it's, the, it's the true... Well, it appears to be the true successor of this game, and that's something I've been wanting for nearly 20 years, and it looks like we might just about get it. So this is Super Toe Remix signing off. Thanks again, and stay gold. Bye-bye.